What's up guys, it's that Panda Gun. I'm here again with another video, and this is our first part one fight against Moore and their Legion. I will say more and more so. Like um usually I kind of say an alliance's name more than a legion, right? Like uh, I'll say more instead of like Jade or something. And the reason I'm gonna be saying more is because they're the ones who I would say mainly showed up. There were alliances like Fox and whatnot. But I did see a lot more pressure coming out from these guys. They did have like the main garrison captains, the main rally captains and whatnot. And overall this was a tough island. Um, this, this video, I'm making it right after my, so, so this was actually from one island ago, right? We've already had our last island just now, but in our last two islands, so the one I'm showing in this video and the one before that, we've been super unlucky because we've gotten like a lot of, I would say farm alliances, and I'm not even trying to be a prick saying that, right? Um, you'll see SF17 here, and this is like a, this was spec, I think, specs like alternate alliance. We have ANCB here. Another alternate alliance of sorts. I mean, a few people did show up from each of these alliances, which I can be glad about. Um, there was another one. I think there were actually two from Region 17. And like I said, you know, NCB here, it's just kind of unfortunate because I just don't think like there's a lot of players who are active here or active fighters or active fillers who are going to fill towers or rallies. And it makes our job extremely hard. Not to mention in both of these islands, we've been facing a situation to where we fought enemies who were able to run double rallies, triple rallies. And you see here three rallies running at once. And we weren't really able to do much because not only do we lack the T6 players, right, who can maybe spread out between towers as garrison captains, we lack the rally captains, meaning that we're not able to do double rallies, we're not able to do triple rallies, and that really minimizes the amount of pressure we can do because being able to do triple rallies or double rallies or whatever the case, right, is extremely nice because you're able to maximize your damage. And we also aren't able to do as much on the field because we just lack the players, we lack the amount of resources between our certain, you know, few field fighters who can actually, you know, constantly put up numbers and stuff and it just makes this really hard right because like i said also being able to only run one rally at a time is really sucky because you got to understand you know double rallies and stuff they're really good because that second rally that's hitting is only going to be taking counter damage meaning that the date the trade-off on those like rallies are going to be extremely good so you need either really strong garrison captains you need a really good plan etc to kind of uh, perform really well also this tower that you're seeing being rally right now this was i think on day two or day one or something and it was basically us just um but what we did was we kind of built off into the side, right? We kind of built into the second zone. We were going to try to initiate fights and they actually built over and burnt down basically all our towers um, while I was sleeping. So I wasn't able to actually help reinforce or, you know, garrison these because I wasn't online and that kind of uh, did us a lot of harm. Although we did end up building one tower, we didn't manage to get any more towers down. So our teleport spots were very limited. They did do a really good job at blocking us from teleporting. And honestly, this makes our trades extremely bad because you're going to see the report here on the tower. Tower. and the trades on this tower are disgusting like and by disgusting i mean terrible and are terribly not in our favor right at least for the main rally i will say some of the other rallies traded really good because i think they just had some people who were rallying who weren't supposed to rally but you know overall the trades on the main rally were extremely bad because um we weren't able to keep this thing full we weren't able to get a lot of t a lot of teleports in here meaning that we just didn't have as many players as we wanted to be able to fill this rally for extended periods of time and honestly at some point i think when we started struggling to fill this tower we should have just given it up and just like backed off but we were being really resilient and we were um just not wanting to give in and that kind of did us a lot of harm or we shouldn't have uh kind of overextended here but you know it is what it is okay we did our best um We'll say we did take some pretty good trades on like these counter rallies because we see a lot of counter rallies, right? And honestly, I was hoping that we were able to burn these guys out through these counter rallies, right? But uh, apparently we weren't able to burn out their T6 players. I will say I prefer, I usually prefer like um, infantry rallies because I have a really good infantry pair, a Dutt and um, Eddie. But my issue was we just have so many infantry like players filling the tower right now we have very little port spots in general as well that being able to fill that um rally would have been hard not to mention we already had been taking this rally for an extended period of time so i'm sure a lot of people's hospitals were already full of infantry troops and stuff and i'm not even sure if we'd be able to do that and i will say like with the amount of range rallies we were running our range 
units were kind of filling in hospitals and we weren't able to start like filling these rallies at some point um these counter rallies and it just became kind of troublesome and we weren't really able to do much and overall i will th say like jade honestly handled this pretty well they cut off reinforcements in their checkpoint they um blocked off a lot of teleport spots so we were like struggling to keep this route uh, this tower full and overall we were just in a really precarious situation and we were not able to pop this rally which i was desperately praying that we'd manage to do that I will say another reason we wanted to run infantry rallies was not only for the counter damage, right? Because, uh, you know, like I said, I had Eddie in that rally, meaning like the counter damage would have been really nice. It's also because the thing wouldn't have melted as fast and we would have been able to keep that thing as full as possible as full as long as possible whereas range is easier to it's more squishy right like the hp is lower and stuff so dropping this thing's health really fast dropping the troops in it really fast would be kind of easy for these guys and we were kind of waiting until it got to maybe around 1.2 million troops or something to cancel these things and we would be able to milk some damage off these other players swarming it and you'll see here like the trades on the people swarming it were absolutely insane but they were able to slowly drain us out and like i said given the small amount of players that were able to actually port teleport up this this even if like the trades were really bad for them it does burn us out really fast and it kind of uh, makes us incapable of doing much on this end of course we were only doing this to hopefully drain some of jade's um you know troops drain their uh, hospitals and stuff and you know maybe put them out of commission for the fight we were going to do up mid later especially with uh, being able to fight with everybody but you know honestly they did much better than i expected especially at middle and i think um i'll be showing it in a different video and that'll be like the only other video i do on this because uh, i didn't have like a ton of ton of footage but i have two videos on this right it's going to be just this tower this tower fight right here and it's going to be the other fight where we're kind of fighting up mid and then we could push back to our checkpoint whatever but um, they were doing really well at mid, and I think we overextended ourselves. And honestly, this is something I really should learn from and like learn to do better on, um, not extending too much. And I think we just do that sometimes too much. Where I, like, I, I think I don't even think it's confidence. I think like I get in a situation where I feel like we are capable of doing something. And you know, um, what ends up happening is we burn a tower, right? We burn one of their towers with RPG, who was our ally this island. We pop one of their towers off of uh, the, the, the lush sanctums, right? So we actually take control around the whole sanctum. But what we do is um, RPG and stuff, they all start going to sleep, you know, our ally, our faction ally. They all start going to sleep, you know, this is their downtime. And a lot of their main players or a lot of their fillers are one guy, right? So they really need that guy to be online. And I think we kind of um, overextended, especially knowing that our allies were going to be asleep. Whereas we really should have just focused on one defensive point and tried to make them rally, for example, the one tower like we were doing here. But instead, we overextend ourselves and we start getting rallied on three plus towers, right? And although I wouldn't say we're weak, right? Like we do have T6 players to be able to cover at least three towers. Our strongest captain is Tree here, which is going to be where our best trades are. You know what I mean? Like if, if I'm having a garrison a tower with my um my peterson and lewis my my garrison isn't the worst but it's obviously not the best um i don't have the as good of garrison heroes as you're gonna see here my gear isn't as good etc it's kind of the same with um our other t6 guys right we're just not capable of taking as good of trades as well as the fact that spreading ourselves thin especially given our current like uh strain skill just wasn't smart even if we had to take on double and triple rallies on a tower it would have probably been better trades than we might have taken um that, that then we end up taking later on and you know I'll, I'll explain more as we go into the other video like whenever that video comes around but i just wanted to give you guys uh kind of my thoughts and i think we just kind of shot ourselves in the foot and it was honestly a really uh, unfortunate island. And I don't even want to be like that kind of dude who just sounds like he's complaining and blaming his allies. Because that, that's kind of what I sound like by always being like, oh my gosh, why do we always get uh, farm alliances or something? And honestly, it is kind of frustrating. Like, I will say at the end of the day, I do have like a lot of fun with these islands either way, win or lose. And even like in this island itself, this was one of my more fun islands, especially given the current island format. I had a lot of fun. I think like the balance skill on the strength was actually somewhat there right i think like um it was somewhat even between like the top t6 players but i think we just lacked the t6 players i wish we would have had i think we lacked the actual players who could have filled rallies or filled towers because we kept having to cancel rallies um because we weren't able to maintain the fullness for long enough you know what i mean especially given like we were getting counter rallied and stuff and it was just really hard you know and um it makes it makes it really frustrating when we keep getting this and especially two times in a row man it's so it's so aggravating and you see even see there in that rally like when it hit contact or whatever we only had 1.4 million troops in there you see how, how yeah you see how hard we're struggling now this is like becoming 
an ultimate struggle. And we have to cancel really fast now just because we're incapable of actually filling these things. 1.7 million troops. We are not able to get that up to 2 million troops. And a lot of these players filling are almost at a full hospital. You know what I mean? And like I said, the trades here are really good. The points here, really good. But we're just not able to maintain this. And like I said, these guys did amazing at blocking our teleport spots. In the island we just fought in, we actually did something um, to the same extent of this, right? Except we had two towers, or we actually had three towers. And I was at the movies with my mom, right? I, I took her on a movie date. And I got home, and I see them connecting to our towers that went into their zone. Because we were just being there to be pricks, and we were trying to entice fights. Because we like having fights within, like, the first day or two. You know, it does give us more excitement. You know, you don't want to be there all island and only fight at mid, like, the last few days. I think there's, like... There's there's a fun aspect to being able, able to fight into their zone a little bit, even if you're not able trying even if you're not trying to extend in that zone, it does add like a fun aspect of things. And we were able to really do that, but we were able to get two to up to three towers, but we ended up uh, abandoning one of them. And the reason I abandoned it and I told them not to defend it was because, um, for example, like when we played at mid and I kind of explained how we spread ourselves really thin, I didn't want them rallying three separate towers. It was already bad enough if they rallied two because, like I said, I think tree account here is the best possible one that I can set up for garrisoning, especially given that it's Victor and not like Lewis and people are trying to soak up the AoE damage. But it's also like just the best armaments are here and stuff. And overall, if I need to defend um, the other tower, the trades are going to be worse. And if we have to defend a third tower, the trades are going to be even, even worse. And it's just going to make us have to overextend. Whereas if we get two teleport tower spots, at least, we will have a lot of teleport um, locations. And if they're not like rallying multiple towers, which they weren't for a long period of time, and they were only rallying one tower, everybody could focus on filling that one tower. They could just jump through bases. And it made it much easier to kind of maintain for longer, get a lot more teleport spots, get a lot more fillers for our rallies. And this was a much better result, you know what I mean? Um, so overall, I was pretty satisfied with how things uh, went that island i wouldn't say i was happy just given like the circumstances but i was satisfied with the fights it did uh, bring me a lot of fun and i i enjoyed it you know what i mean and even in this island even given the fact that we kind of got crushed here um you know i still had a lot of fun i was getting really ticked off because dude they couldn't have chose anything worse than a range rally man like could they not have chosen uh, an infantry rally or something to make this much easier on us also i want to tell you guys they kept walking near a tower, right? And they would they would stand outside of it. And what I did was I had Tree in the tower and I had Pandy in the tower. And like I said, Tree has uh, it has Peterson and it has Victor, right? Whereas my Pandy account has Peterson and it has Lewis. So every time I saw people standing around the tower, I would I would just go inside the tower and I would manually swap manually swap to Pandy. So then anybody standing outside the tower would start getting hit with AOE because sometimes you know people might stand on it on purpose to just you know stop reinforcements or they might stand around the tower and i'll just be a prick and try to give them some deads you know what i mean because that's what i like to do so that's what i would do i would swap it there and then i would swap it back and it was just a little funny you know and i noticed a few times every time i swapped it they would try to send one troop marches and i don't know if they thought like i i had swapped it by accident that was intentional okay that was intentional and yikes man look at these swarms dude like look at the trade-offs and this this, this is this is just a counter rally oh it's disgusting dude and i think this happens a lot and this is an issue and i even saw it like like in, in my last island where people start swarming because they see one guy swarm or they see two guys swarm and this usually happens with like t6 players right whereas t6 players might swarm a tower or they might swarm a rally um and then everybody else thinks all right well let me jump in on this because you know we already have our t6 players doing a ton of damage here um, and maybe they think their trades aren't going to be as bad because of that fact. And a lot of the time you'll end up seeing that their trades are in fact that bad. You know what I mean? And I don't understand why they repeatedly do this uh, just because it's so bad. And maybe it's just an adrenaline thing. Maybe it's just like a dog pile thing and everybody just sees it and they want in on it. But dude, you have so many like T4 or even, you know, I mean, T5 or even T4 players who end up swarming rallies like this. And it's like you're swarming a rally with T6 tech, not to mention if you're swarming right away, that thing definitely has probably around 2 million troops or, the, you know, maximum troops. So you are a lunatic. Like, by definition, you are a lunatic. That's what you are. Um... But we are going to lose this tower soon. We aren't able to keep it full. We were struggling for a long period of time to even like keep it halfway. You know what I mean? Like we started getting to the point where it became like we I think we had it like a one million troops and we just 
kept keeping it at that. And when you kind of keep it at that, like, and, and especially when they have like a carry rally like this hitting, especially given the circumstances we're fighting or we're facing, this was terrible. You know what I mean? This was terrible timing for us. We really didn't need this. And it just sucked, man. It just sucked. And we knew that we were kind of going to struggle and we were kind of just getting ready to give up here. And I think I sent all the troops back when I see we're um kind of done with our struggle because I think at some point like I tried I tried to think about everybody right like I'm I'm fine taking the rally as long as we're able to keep it full we're able to keep it at least semi full but once we start getting down to the point where we're keeping it at 1 million troops or even under that I just start sending the troops home because I'm like let it burn um I'm not going to feed troops you know what I mean like I've seen so many rally reports where it's like for example 30 million my trade off for 200 million or something and that could be us if we keep a tower full or we don't keep a tower full we keep reinforcing it and keeping it at like 700k compared to a rally that maybe has 2 million troops it's just like at that point drop it man just just drop that drop that tower um i do warn our players constantly to make sure you're not going to sleep on these towers i try to use markers and stuff i try to use pings around them and i try to make sure i always send out mail constantly saying guys if you're doing this please teleport but when you go to sleep please shield if you go offline for extended periods of time etc so honestly if somebody gets zeroed i am going to feel really bad but i do warn people i try to make sure everybody's vigilant and i try my best you know what i mean there's only so much you can really do and there's only so much kind of uh guidance you can give to your players um and with that um i think i might end it off here or actually, you know what? I'll go through the rest of the video. There's only two minutes left. Um, I still want to talk about like the nasty report. I think you'll see. Um, it's unfortunate because this rally went on so long. You're not able to see like the solos or I think like the even the AOE damage. And that kind of happens to extended rallies, right? I think like if you, if your report's too long or you have too many like actual things in the battle report, uh, it doesn't it doesn't show up properly. Also, they started swarming, and honestly, if they if they manage to keep swarming there, they probably could have dropped this tower because we were already struggling. A lot of our T four accounts, and I have a lot of T four accounts that fill right. And this is this is something I hate. I hate having T four accounts. I'd rather get them up to T five. And the reason is not even because of the troop tier, but it's because their hospitals fill so fast, right? And you see here, the trades were almost two to one. This was disgusting. I will say like um, the actual numbers look worse than they are, uh, like injuries and like deaths and stuff, because you got to understand a lot of those are T4, you know what I mean? But like I said, you know, I think T4 and stuff just fill your hospital too fast and it makes things so complicated. Oh, this is disgusting. But yeah, like I said, you know, your T4 fill your hospital too fast and like clearing that constantly within like a, a period of a really massive damage dealing rally is not easy. You know what I mean? I will say like some of these rally trades were really good on our part, but then we also had that like first rally that just demolished us. It was like a two to one trade, which was absolutely disgusting. The only thing that was kind of in our favor was the fact that it was an injured death ratio for defenders that kind of make it more favorable for us as like, you like I said, defenders, you know what I mean? And I think like at this point, we just decided to uh, more or less give it up and it just wasn't worth defending at that point. You know, I think like the, the most value we got were out of those counter rallies, but otherwise defending this tower probably wasn't that worth it. We probably shouldn't have defended it in the first place or even gone for it. But I don't regret our decision making there. Um, I do appreciate you guys always for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I hope you guys enjoyed us getting our butts whooped, okay? You guys have a great day or night, though. And I will see you guys in the next video. And that is it. Peace out.